Well, howdy there, Internet students. It's Mr. Hermson again. Uh, today we're going to use the idea that we uh, learned yesterday about similar objects to help us find the heights of things using similar triangles. All right, so um, so here's what it's going to look like. Um, and you can actually use these methods outside to estimate heights of things. Okay, um, and that's because the angle of the sun is the same on all objects out there for this first um, problem. Okay, so uh, the length of the tick stick here is three meters uh, and its shadow is one and a half meters. That means its shadow, if you think about that, is half the length of the stick. Okay, the length of the building shadow is eight meters. Um, so the ratio of the shadow's height to the of the clock tower um, would be 8 over x. So x represents the height of the clock tower right here. Okay, so I'm just using these two numbers to get that ratio. Okay, and the ratio of the shadow height to the stick is 1.5 over 3. Now, since the sun's angle is the same on both those, and they're both right triangles, those are similar triangles. So we can solve a proportion um, to get this missing height x. So we're going to take 8 times 3. That's 1.5, by the way. Um, we're going to take 8 times 3, which is 24, right? I hope you guys can do that in your head. Um, and then we're going to divide that by 1.5. And we end up with 16. Um, and that makes sense because, remember, if these are similar triangles, things are proportional. Um, so notice that if this is 16 and this is 8, um, the height is twice the shadow length, which is also true on this stick. All right. Um, another way you can use, um, create similar triangles is by using a mirror. And so if you set up this mirror here um, and you look into the mirror and you see the object that you're trying to find the height of here, and then you just measure these distances that you can, your height to your eyes, um, the distance from your feet to the mirror, and the distance from the mirror to um, wherever the base of that, whatever you're trying to find the height of is, it needs to be directly under there for this to be a right triangle. Okay, so if you look closely, you'll see two similar triangles there. Um, so what is the ratio of Jim's eyes to the ground to the distance from the middle of the mirror to Jim's feet? And that would be 150. There's, that's how high his eyes are. And then the distance to the mirror is 100. So we got both those from the small triangle. Okay. And then we're going to also create the ratio of the traffic light height, which we're going to use X for that, um, to the distance from the light to the mirror along the ground, which is 450. And so since these two ratios should be equal because they're similar, um, we're going to set up the proportion and find the unknown height, which is x. Okay, so I'm going to take uh, 150 times 450 and get that answer and divide that by 100. And we get 675. I think this is centimeters. 675 centimeters. All right, so those are the two types of problems you're going to be doing. Um, and uh, so on your homework, you'll be doing, sort of doing the same thing. I think I'll do one more for you, uh, with you. Uh, this one's a mirror problem. Uh, this one is just a little bit different, so I'll go through number four with you. Um, so notice how our similar triangles are sort of built into each other on here. So we're going to find the ratio of the distance from the flagpole to point A, and that's 60, um, to the height of the flagpole, which is 48. Okay, 
Um, and then it says how far is the tree to point A. Uh, the tree to point A um, is only part of this 60 foot distance, which is 60 minus 20 is 40. The ratio of the distance from the tree to the height of the tree then is um, 40. And the height of the tree, we're going to use x for that. So I'll just put an x there. So our proportion will look like this. 60 over 48 equals 40 over x. Then I'm just going to do 48 times 40. Divide that by 60. And that gives me 32. That's the height of the tree. Pretty clever, huh? All right. Um, uh, number five is a problem similar to that, where you have two triangles built into each other. All right. All right, I'm going to let you go now, and you can use your similar triangle ideas to solve some problems, and we'll talk about that soon. Good luck.